welcome to another lesson about projects. Today we're going to talk a little bit about more about the details of the different type of projects. Of course, there was the other lesson that we went into detail on how to set up a project. And today I'm going to basically show you a little bit more on how to create a, um, a different type of project. As you can see here in the project side, there is a uh, there's basically four sides of uh, projects you can do on, on the new one. I create a new project, project from template, create a new project template, but you also found out there's a proposal. Let me go on that one and then I'll show you how what is different. Here on the type, that's where you see it's the proposal. Well, these type of projects are being used when a client or you want to basically quote out something to a client, you need to make a proposal and you want to calculate how much effort it will take your company to, uh, to implement what the client is asking for. Let's say we're going to do a, a server migration. You need to know all the phases. Client has maybe several servers. There's all kinds of migrations needed to be involved. So somebody needs to uh, engineer this out and calculate it out and see what kind of uh, work all needs to be done and how long it will all take. In this case, you can create a project uh, proposal. You can create even a project the same way as you do with the other ways where you can create the use the templates that you have in the system, create new tasks, add a task and remove them all. And then an engineer can actually book time on this particular project and uh, uh, configure it the way it has to be. It's the same setup as everything. So you would say a call it, let's say, call it a server migration. You can choose the company, you choose the proposal, you choose the start date and the end date. Like I said, everything is indeed the same as, as what it was before uh, when you have a, uh, a regular um, regular uh, project and of course in this case you can already uh, combine it with an opportunity usually you can do it afterwards but in this case for sure you have an opportunity in the system you're working on a deal and in this case you would select uh, to, uh, to choose that opportunity in this system all the regular settings are there as well and that's how you do it now once this project proposal is ready it's still a different proposal so what you have to keep in mind is that this project does not show up in the regular views uh, you have to go into a different way for your resources to uh, to get access to this particular project. And the reason why, because like I said, it's not a regular project. It's not a regular project that shows up on the on the on the regular screens. Of course, you can go to your project search and you find your proposals and you uh, find your open proposals. And that's where you can click them and, uh, and uh, edit your time on what you can also go to your timesheets. You go to your current timesheet and you say like new project time. And that's where you select this proposal project. Or you go to my project and that's also where you can find uh, your tasks for the project and click a new time entry so those are some ways that that you can still uh, access to it but there's also a way that you can create a service call on a particular uh, uh, task that needs to be done that one goes on the on your calendar and also from there you have access to the particular task where you need to work on and also from there you can place your uh, your time entry i think that's uh, that's about it for a proposal once the project is done and it has been calculated, this project can be closed. And that way it can go back to your sales team saying, okay, well, we, uh, we have all the phases uh, uh, viewed. We know that the, these are the amount of hours that is needed. And then your sales team can basically define what needs to be quoted out, close the project and send over the quote to the client. Now, the good thing is that once the, the quote comes back, signed back or the client gives you the approval, in that case, you can reopen this particular project and make it a regular project. And you can easily do that by changing the one here from type, from proposal, back to client. And then you press save and then you have already your entire project uh, ready to go. So that's going to be a great benefit. Uh, those projects that you did a proposal project for have a great start of, uh, of being entered into your, uh, into your production. The other type that you already probably quickly saw is the internal one. An internal project is uh, done exactly like the word says for internal work and uh, always on your own company. And the reason why I say always on your own company, because the, once you define a project as being internal, there's no labor going to approve and post. So there's nothing that you have to uh, approve and, and invoice in potential situations. If you have a different client and you say, OK, this is something that is not billable. Let me put it to internal. Then it won't be built. That is indeed correct. But the hours are not properly logged. So an internal type of project is only something that you do for your own company where you have your own project or something within your own company that you need to track. Um, never use the type for a project that you do for a client where you say, OK, this is maybe pro bono work. I don't want to bill it for the client. Still make it a regular project 
but put a work type to, for example, non-billable, or maybe have a, a pro bono a work type in the system. And that way it does flow to a proven post, but that way you also have those hours logged on that particular client that you know how much your time you have spent. So internal type is only when you use projects for truly internal and for your own company. I hope that gives a little bit more clarification on the two extra types besides the whole uh, lesson that we had about projects. If there's any more questions, of course, you have the, the Autodesk desk help file gives you a couple, couple of guidance. But if you have more questions, please visit our uh, private Facebook group and post your comments there. Thank you.